Welcome to our advanced exploration of Microsoft Excel. In this first video, we'll look at some advanced formatting for spreadsheets. Now, in this series of videos, we're going to start diving into more advanced Excel topics, and these topics will include more advanced options for formulas and the flexibility you have with formatting in Excel, and more. So, let's start going through this, and this video series will be going at quite a fast pace to cover a lot of information, so do feel free to watch the videos as many times as you like. Okay, so let's dive in. In this first video, I'm going to talk you through some advanced formatting, quite advanced formatting that you can apply to spreadsheets. And I have an example here, and this is an example of a template of a document I've used myself for a number of purposes. For example, when I deal with a fulfillment company for sending out packages when orders are received, I may send out a document like this to get an accurate quote. And specifically, I've color-coded a lot of these cells in purple because those are the only cells they would need to fill in. Okay, so let's actually go through this as a quick example. In this example, this package has the option of containing DVDs, CDs, inserts, which are basically letters and perhaps short documents, and fulfillment. And fulfillment obviously only counts as one item, but the actual fulfillment of the package needs to be included, of course. But let's say the cost per item for 25 copies is $5. 5. Press Enter, and there we go. And let's keep it as three DVDs. Actually, let's say we change that to two DVDs. CDs, let's say there are two CDs, and let's again say $5. Inserts, let's say there are three inserts and they don't cost anything. So let's leave that as zero. And fulfillment, obviously there's one value for fulfillment because the package has to be fulfilled. It has to be sent out. And let's say the price for that is $10. Okay, that's for 25 items. And then as the number of items duplicated increases at one time, the price should decrease accordingly. So for 50 copies, let's say $4. Enter and press Tab to tab over. For 100 copies, $3. 200 copies, $2. 500 copies, $1. Or actually, let's say $1.50. And 1,000 copies, $1. And then quickly to do the same. For CDs, $4. $3. Tab over, $2. $1.50 and a dollar. And again, four dollars, three dollars, two dollars, a dollar fifty. And you'll see as I'm going through this, all these numbers are changing automatically because formulas have already been set up to calculate totals. So, okay, one dollar, and okay then, fulfillment, and actually it's ten dollars for each one. Ten, 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 10. So you can see for the fulfillment total how it's decreasing the more copies of each product are created at one time. For 25 copies, each package costs $30. For 50 copies, the price has gone up. And yes, I've made a mistake. I didn't pay as much attention as I should have, and I added a monetary value to the inserts where that should be zero. And zero. 0, 0, 0. And now that should make more sense. So 50 copies comes to $26 total, 100 copies, $22 total, then $18, $16, down to $14 each if 1,000 copies are made at one time. Okay, shipping. Let's say $12 for expedited shipping with a signature. And actually, because this is working from a template and I made some changes before starting this video, there are some problems with the formula. So let me quickly fix that. So for the total, it should of course be equals and 
Okay, let me do that again. F2 to edit, and we can have sum and have the formula in brackets, or we can just do equals, add the brackets, and then within the brackets, we want to add this, which is C11 to C11 is the fulfillment total to B12. Okay, $42 total. If I copy that, Control C to copy, and paste it here, it probably won't work, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Let's double check this in a moment. Paste, 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 paste. Yes, because I've pressed F2 to edit, when you do a copy and paste, it automatically increases the value for both cells. So it made the assumption of D11 here. because I copied this formula here. So here it changed C11 and B12 to D11 and C12. And D11 is correct, but C12 is a blank cell, so that's incorrect. So if I press F2 now, we want to change C12 back to B12. And we'll have to do the same here. and here, and the other half of the formula is fine. It's just the second part that needs changing. Okay, so that should be correct now. So now the total goes down accordingly for the number of copies duplicated, from $42 for each package, including shipping, to 38, 34, 30, 28, and down to 26 as the lowest price. So that's an example of the very useful functionality of Excel, because in my case, I would just send a copy of this to the fulfillment company, and they would fill in the purple areas with the correct values, and the shipping value, and then all the totals would appear for me automatically. So I can choose how many copies to get duplicated at a time, also keeping in mind costs, and also keeping in mind how much I would want to spend on duplication at one time. So that's an example of how Excel can be very practical, but also it's an example of some of the more advanced formatting available. And it doesn't look quite as tidy as it should, for example here. For example, you see the border, the border of two lines should flow from here all the way to the end here. The reason it doesn't is because I made some changes just before recording this video and slightly corrupted the formatting. But it's a very easy fix, and what I'll start going through in the next video is how you can start formatting your spreadsheets like this too, very easily, and also I'll spend some time fixing this spreadsheet so it looks exactly the way it should.